These rivers are untouched. There's nobody that gets to fish them. We're gonna fish them hard for four days and have a blast and nobody's gonna to touch us again until next year. When I'm driving around here looking for polar bears, I mean, the thing that really sticks out to me is the, the grass flats. I mean, I've got the, the ocean off to one side of me, this incredible mud flat with the tide going in and out, in and out. And then I look down and I see these huge grass fields it reminds me of like the openness of the Serengeti or something like that. Never having been this far north, it almost looked like uh, pictures of the Serengeti when you see like the deserts and like out of Africa, just the vastness and, and your eyes opening up and just the amount of space and light kind of put a zap to my brain, you know? This is a rough tundra. You're going to some wild country. Nanook Polar Bear Lodge, remote, it's fly-in only. It's a gorgeous lodge in the middle of nowhere, northern Manitoba at its best. We're sitting on the Hudson Bay on an east-west coast, covered in polar bears, beautiful rivers. Um, I mean, it, there's nothing like it in the world. Incredible fishery, lots of fun, native, sea, native and sea rung brook trout. Um, get all the colors in the natives, get all the silvers out of the sea runs. Beautiful sizes, beautiful fish, very strong, hard-fighting fish. Uh, we're just about to head out and uh, make our way up to the Menahook River. Uh, it's basically uh, back towards York Factory. Uh, we've been going up to the Mooswa, so it's set all the way up to the Mooswa, and then we've got two sort of deeper river crossings or creek crossings before we get to the Menahook. All right, so why don't we make our way out? Uh, the journey getting to the fishing spots to the river is a, it's an adventure in itself because I mean, uh, depending on the season, uh, it's going to depend on the mud conditions. So you can have it fairly dry like we have it right now, um, where you're driving across mud flats or grass flats at this time. But I mean, given one good rain, it can turn into a mud bog and, and you can get a little bit covered and you might have to get off the vehicle and help it get unstuck or you might, you know, just cruise along and enjoy the sun. and watch that polar bear go by, you never know. So the key here when we're fishing on these high tides like this, you have a full moon, you have high tides right now, we're between four and 4.3 meters. Uh, today, tomorrow and the next day are the highest tides for this month. And that's the key. As soon as we've got those high tides, now we've got the water levels for the sea runs to get into here. I guess what really shocked me up here is that there really wasn't anything under 16 inches you know you know you get a 15 16 inch fish and you say oh man i want to i want to go get a go get a, you know where i'm saying 16 inch brook trout in the lower 48 is king kong so it was cool So we have this fabulous guide, Nolan. He's been uh, leading us through this whole adventure and uh, off, off in the distance toward the coast, he spotted some polar bears. It, was, it happened, turned out to be a mom and a cub. And uh, he said, hey, you guys wanna see a polar bear? And of course we do. So we're like, yes. And we drove up a, a ways and then we got off the quads and did a little hike. Um, I, I was I was enthralled by it. it was it was incredible. I'd never seen a polar bear 
and then we got to watch the baby playing around with mom. And uh, it was just really cool. In the middle of nowhere is this little jewel of a lodge that has amazing staff and accommodations and food and I honestly can't talk enough about what a great time we've had with our guides. It's been awesome. You know it's crazy because when I look at the map it's like whoa it's way up there but then when you get here you understand how far away from everything else it is and how unspoiled it is and that was absolutely one of my favorite things about coming here. I guess that was intrig the intrigue of it was that it's not just a fishing trip. There's a lot more to it. Um, the polar bears, I think, are, are key for this, this part of Canada. You know, that's the, one of the big reasons that we wanted to come along to, for the fishing, the polar bear, just the adventure of, of it all, all rolled into one trip. And it's been a very, very unique experience and I'd do it again.